Alright, what is going on guys? And um, today we are going to be doing another unboxing video. Um, the last one I did got quite a lot of views to be honest, so yeah, I guess people enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, we're going to make another one. But this time, we've been sent uh, some stuff from Westin Fishing. Uh, I'm not showing you my address, but yeah, Westin sent us some stuff. Um, they sent me a load of loads about two years ago. But I never really did an unboxing video with it because I didn't think they'd be that popular. But yeah, pe some people seem to enjoy them. So we're going to unbox this. Um, I know there's a rod, but I have no idea what else is in this box. So it's going to be a surprise for me as well. I've not uh, undone it at all yet. So yeah, we'll get right into it. We'll see. We'll see what we've got here. Uh, get this thing opened. Try to be careful because I don't really want to damage what's in it. Ooh, we are in. Unboxing. Mm, not brilliant, but <laughs> there's quite a lot of stuff in here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. So we'll get the rod first because I know what the rod is. It's a bit hard to get a good camera angle because I don't have my tripod, it's in the car and I'm too lazy to go grab it. So we're dealing with what we've got here. <laughs> but yes, the rod I have gone with, uh, they said I could choose any rod out of the W3 range, which is like the uh, cheaper range. Well, the cheapest range that they do, but it's still like a high quality range. And I have gone for the same rod that I used to have because I liked it so much. <laughs> I should have really gone for a perch rod because my perch rod uh, is not very good. But I couldn't resist going for the Power Shad T again to replace my heavy rod. Which, you know, I've missed this since I lost it. And yeah, I'm super happy that. I can use this again. This is the uh, W3 Power Shad T. Uh, 8 foot 3, 60 to 180 gram casting weight. Uh, yeah, what can I say? It's an awesome rod. Such a soft tip for how, how heavy the casting weight is. I mean, you don't really get that. I've never seen that in another rod, how soft that tip is. And, you know, it's... Yeah, fast action rods are so so much nicer to fish with, and I've never found another uh, another pipe fishing rod, heavy rod anyway, with such a fast action as this. So yeah, very happy to be able to fish with this rod again. <sighs> yeah, I'm stoked on that. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, eight foot three, slightly shorter than what I'm using at the minute, but it's got a slightly higher casting weight and. Yeah, I'll catch a lot of fish with this. Time for my Daiwa rod to retire. I've only had it about two months, probably caught about 50 pike on it, one perch. But it's retiring already. And it's getting replaced with my favourite all time pike fishing rod. So yeah, stoked on that. That's the rod. And I'm looking forward to using this. I'll get this rigged up as soon as I've fin fin finished filming this video to be honest and use that tomorrow right so put this somewhere safe because I don't want to break it right so what else have we got in this box this foam that's nice oh I've got some terminal tackle as well which is awesome <laughs> I've been meaning to make some terminal tackle up for a while and yeah we've got some so we've got some screw in jiggeds cock screw heads Flex heads, whatever you want to call them. 10 grams, perfect weight for fishing, sort of 
shallow water, like up to about 10 foot I'd say. Yep. And we have titanium leader, which is, you know, American fishing wire. 20 inch leader, which is great. I prefer longer leaders, you know, 12 inches just too short. Get your stay lock snaps, perfect. You know, I will definitely be using this. I know I use fluorocarbon leaders 90% of the time, but I'm gonna be fishing some waters where they do tackle checks and wire leaders are required. So yeah, I'll, I'll need that for, the, <laughs> for those situations. Um, I've got two actually, both 50 pound braking strain. So that'd be great for jerk bait fishing. So 15 grams, 15 gram screwing jig heads for fishing slightly deeper water and some rigging. Um, you know, these obviously go with the screwing jig heads. I've got a video explaining how to rig your big shads. These are uh, size one out hooks and I know what loads these are for already. <laughs> I think the stingers and the corkscrew heads will be perfect for the new size Ricky the Roach. Now I was really excited when I saw these came out. Love the 14 centimeters Ricky the Roach. Now I've got 18 centimeter, uh, which is awesome. I've got some venues where this will work perfectly. You know, see, so, you know, it's like a perfect size for a small bream or a you know an average size roach really, and that's what most pike. To be honest, most back in this country probably feed on fish of this size. So, yeah, that's awesome. So we've got the natural headlight colour, which is my favourite Western colour of all Westerns, which is this one. Uh, we've got the lively roach colour, which is pretty much, you know, a, a replica of a normal roach. So that's those two. And also a nice bright one, which is the fire perch. So that'll be great for coloured water or overcast days or you know dusk, dusk sort of time. So yeah, all these 18 centimeter, seven and one eighth inch. So yeah, three, three of the new size Ricky ropes. So I am really happy with that. <laughs> They'll definitely catch a lot of fish. I know that already. So. Oh, and still on the Ricky the Roach, we have a pre-rigged version as well. This is Fire Tiger. And this rigged one is 113 gram. And the unrigged one, which I probably should mention, is... Doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure they're around 80 gram. Or 80, I think, I think they're about 86. I'll put on the screen what they actually weigh. But yeah. This one, 114 gram, so it'll sink a bit faster. Um, it's rigged and ready, but your treble, you've got your, your uh, single on top. So, yeah, that'll be awesome. Fish slightly deeper while with this. I'll get it out of the box, actually. Give you a proper look at it. So, there we go. That's the pre-rigged 18 centimetre Ricky the Roach. Perfect size. It's such a nice soft plastic. A lot of companies make use really cheap plastic that's too hard, but this is incredibly soft. It'll give it even on like really slow retrieves. You'll get a crazy tail action. So yes, Ricky the Roach, 18 centimeter. So happy with that. <laughs> so we've got four Ricky the Roaches. One rig, three unrigged. So that's awesome. On to the next layer. We've got a couple of swim baits now, which I was hoping they'd put in, and we have got. We've got the new Hypo Tees, hard bodied swim baits. I think these are also 18 centimeters. Yep, 18 centimeter, 44 gram. <laughs> so I was saying, 18 centimeter, 44 gram. These will glide nice probably run quite shallow I imagine they are suspending I believe as well yep suspending so these will run shallow and then you know you'll you'll fish them you can fish them on the reel or the rod tip 
get a nice walking action and you get a nice pause and you'll be able to hang them for a long time in you know the strike zone and yeah they should trigger some good bites running depth yeah 0 to 0 0.3 meters these will be perfect around spawn sort of shallow waters march april time these will be these will be awesome so yeah i'll definitely be using these around spawn time uh, spawn time even at this time of year in the shallow water they'll, they'll work as well get one of these out have a feel the hooks are sharp i don't know that much so there we go it's got soft fins yeah, all the fins are soft actually. Soft fins, hard body. Nice. Nice joints. No rattle. But, yeah. That's an awesome little looking lure. I mean, in the UK, that'll be a perfect odd Europe really. It'll be like a perfect little uh, bleak imitation. I mean, I know it's perch pan, but from the from the bottom profile, you sort of your bleak or your dace, small chub, perfect little imitation, and yeah, hopefully the pike will go nuts for that. So yeah, that's the next lure then. Western hypo tees, glide bait, hard body. Love the hypo tees, um, soft, you know, shad tails. But I've got a hard version now, which is awesome. So, yeah, we'll give them a try soon. I might actually go out tonight. I don't really have time, but I want to try some of these layers out. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got two of the hypo tees rainbow trout and perch. And, oh, actually, we've got another rigged Ricky the Roach as well. So we've got five Ricky the Roach, which is, yeah, one of my favourite all-time all layers anyway, so that's never going to be a problem. You can never have too many Ricky the Roach. On to the next lure then. We have two of the smaller size Monster Vibe spinner baits. Uh, I know some of you will see my video with the... Uh, big monster vibe and these are like the smaller size so nice little spinner bait you catch pretty much anything on these pipe chub perch bass pollock cod xander can't think of any other fish off the top of my head but yeah any predator fish you probably catch one you probably catch a trout on one of these to be honest so yeah the perfect size for search bait Covering water and you know general general fishing. So we've got two of these. We've got the uh, we've got this one which is wild perch, um, perch colours, nice willow blade, nice silver willow blade, which is good for fishing fast and uh, covering a lot of water. And we also have the fire tiger one as well so covering both bases with that you got your uh, natural one you get your fire tiger so these will be awesome throw these around cover um you know shallow weedy canals into reeds tight to reeds and yeah hopefully draw out some fish so yes that is the next bait so we've got shad style swim baits we've got glide baits now we've got some spinner baits which is sick. Right, we have got some more lures, but I'm going to unwrap this next because I have no idea what it is. So. Ah, measuring that. That's awesome. Be able to get some lengths on some fish then. Must be great for boat fishing, just leave it like on the middle seat. Every fish we catch, just stick it on, weigh, uh, measure goes up to 120 centimeters as well don't know what I've got what I'm gonna do for catch 130 centimeter fish but there we go 127 
120 centimeter measure mat got a nice hard butt end on it so you can put the fish's nose nice and tight up to it but awesome see how many uh, meter meter snook we can get on this <laughs> so yeah that's sweet we've got nice measurement I've never actually had a measure mat before I've always just used like a tape measure so yeah this will be great hopefully I'm going to be doing quite a bit of boat fishing this winter as well so this will definitely come in handy with that there we go then that's the pro measuring mat size small not sure what the big size is maybe up to 150 centimeters I don't know but that's big enough for me it's not often I, I don't think we ever caught fish over 120 centimeters but yeah <laughs> thanks for that that's sweet all right guys so camera just ran out but we just got finished with the Western Pro map now moving on to some more lures and one of my favorite shad style lures we've got some Western Hypo Tees, the 25 centimeter version. I use the six inch ones and the 10 inch ones, which is this. Uh, we've got the smelt colored one, which is like the classic, classic Hypo Tees color. And the pike, which is my favorite. I actually just found out my, uh, my old one, which I've caught probably in excess of like 30 pike on. But this is absolutely hammered, as you can see full of holes, barely got any paint on it, but we have the replacement, so, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this one will definitely end up like this soon, but, yeah, awesome bait, caught tons of fish with these, so after that we've got two hypo teas, add them over to the pile, next bait is another classic, but in a new size, and that's the shad teas, I just come out with the 19 centimeter version and yeah this is the stamped roach one which is nice nice color and we've got two pike ones as well which you know I love my pike pattern pike pattern shads so these will be awesome pike loving pike love eating pike so yeah three shad teas there we go so we've got quite a lot actually <laughs> I did not expect this much, but we've actually we've just got one more to look through now anyway. Um, I don't know if I want to show this on camera, so I'm going to film a video with, it, with this. <laughs> it's an awesome bait. I want to film, yeah, I want to film a video with this next week, so I might keep this last bait a surprise, but I should get a pretty good video with it anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, mystery bait. I'm not going to show you guys it you have to tune in in a few weeks time when the video is made <laughs> so hopefully you can just see what it was but that's it for the unboxing thanks to Westin Fishing for the stuff hopefully we'll get some good videos made with this we've got the new rod we've got all the lures we've got the terminal tackle we've got the mystery lure and we've got the pro mat so we are set for some videos uh, so yeah make sure you go thank Westin Go follow them on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook, if you use Facebook. Not many people do these days. Well, actually, they do. Never mind. Um, but, yeah, that is it. I'm really looking forward to trying out these new Ricky the Roach. I mean, we've got rigged, we've got unrigged. I could go out with one of these right now. Probably catch a pike. So, yeah. I'm happy with this haul. Tons of lads. Won't even be able to stack them all up. Ooh. That's about half of them anyway. So yeah, got loads of lads. And a rod. So yes. Thanks to Westin for the hookup. And hopefully that wasn't too boring to watch. And just know that we'll have definitely have some videos with this stuff coming over the next few weeks so yes hope you've enjoyed the video keep an eye out for the video with the mystery lure and also guess have a guess in the comment section what you think this lure is um 
and whoever gets it right will feel good about themselves when the video comes out. So yeah, that's it. Thanks to Westin. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.